issue was in, was, in, was in cuts? There's a really fundamental issue here, and it's fundamental to human nature. In any society, in any conditions, you will not get people to make sacrifices unless they feel that they're not being taken advantage of. Yeah. So you, government has to be able to articulate for the public, for everybody, public sector, private sector, everybody, a sense that this huge crisis is being dealt with in a fair way. What we've got at the moment are two Irelands. And it's not two Irelands which is public and private. There's one Ireland in which we're talking about social welfare cuts, and there's another Ireland in which we've got 30 billion of public resources to put into Anglo-Irish Bank, which is a dead and corrupt institution. There's one Ireland in which we're talking about getting rid of fat cats, quite rightly, in the public sector. There are fat cats in the public sector. And we're creating in NAMA, we're going to be paying 240 million a year in fees to run NAMA. We're creating a whole new class of highly paid public servants. You know, nobody's telling people this. There's one Ireland in which you read the Irish Times today, the Quinn Group has distributed 200 million in, in uh, profits to, to, to members of the family for personal wealth. At the same time, the taxpayer, the people here, people watching, are stumping up 300 million into Anglo-Irish Bank to unwind what was done to get rid of the Queen Group's uh, unfortunate position in that bank. So you, you have these two Irelands. You have a fundamental sense of injustice that is out there. People do not believe that the burden is being shared. And all we're getting is a strategy of saying, let's come up with a new scapegoat. Let, let's come up with a new way of doing yeah, but, this. 